All right, ladies and gentlemen, this episode is going to be about the price action tab, which is going to be your second tab under your settings menu. Getting into our price action tab, what's going to be important for you is down this left side where you have all these options, basically you're setting how much it's going to show on the screen. So if you're wanting to see your price action like this, right, and fill up the majority of the screen, but you have studies and alerts and stuff that are way outside of that price action, it's going to reduce your price action to accommodate the studies that are going to fall way up here. So that is going to uh, change greatly how your candles present themselves. So what can you do about that is uncheck all of these so that you aren't automatically defaulting to see alerts that are way outside of the price action or studies or whatnot. And you're going to focus mostly on your price action. The next thing you're going to want to focus here on the price action tab is the percentage up and down. And as you can see right now in the background here, we have quite a bit of area above and below. But let's say I want 10% up and 10% down. What that is telling the computer is beyond this price action between the high and the low, I want to see 10% of the range of the screen blank above and 10% below. And that is what it looks like. Now, what if we need to see more? Well, we can easily set that to the next extreme, which would be 30%. And this is good if you want to use an indicator to see where price action is going, and I will put one of those on the chart now. With the 10 or the 30% price indicator, this is what that looks like. And we have 30% above, and we will have 30% below that is blank and not showing anything, but it allows us to see these indicators. Now a quick way to get around that would be to expand your price action and you have it back. Or let's say we've had to look even further and you want to get that back. You can double click this little price axis setting to go right back to where you want it. What we have found is that the majority of the time most people would really like to see the maximum amount of screen detail they can so 10 percent is usually a good option and that allows you to see a little bit below your price action and a little bit above because it's really quick to just come on down here and you can see above but you had this little bit eh, that was visible here we'll zoom in a little bit so that makes more sense to you go back to the auto setting you see we can see above it but if we needed to see more, we can grab it and drag it down. Now, that brings into mind this little tool, which is really quick to navigate, and it pops it back to whatever you have natively set here in the price action. So play with it, see what works for you. The next stuff down here, um, leaving the left axis enabled is good form, but the log scale and showing price as a percentage messing with that really won't help you and also um, this is one of those tabs where when you're making the adjustments here it fits across all of your different charts so if you have multiple chart windows open um, making these adjustments here will change all of them not just um, the one that you're on actually no you know what come to think of it changing this price action tab on this chart will not affect other charts you would have to go to the next chart, you see, and if I reset this, it's still at zero. So I would have to set that one individually. So sorry for that confusion, right? I would have to set this on here. But I think what I was trying to say is it'll affect it. It'll give you that 10% on whatever ticker that you wanted to go to, right? So our, yeah. Cool. All right. Tune in for the next video. We're going to go over the uh, time access tab. All right. See you soon.